And as in previous attempts, Biden never made it inside the Pentagon. Our source said U.S. Pentagon police, part of the Pentagon Force Protection Agency, stopped Biden and his Secret Service detail in their tracks, informing them that they had standing orders to prevent the Biden administration members, including Biden himself, from entering the building. Those orders reportedly included the use of deadly force. Uh, General David H. Berger, Commandant of the United States Marine Corps and a ranking member of the Joint Chiefs of Staff, said Biden demanded to know who gave the order, stumbling through his words and was told the directive came directly from General David H. Berger. When Biden demanded to speak with the Chairman of the Joint Chiefs of Staff, General Mark Milley, he was told Milley, a Biden supporter, is no but again, as in told Milley, a Biden supporter, is no longer in charge, according to our source. Uh, Biden also became belligerent, saying that the president of the United States, and as president, has unrestricted access to all federal properties, including the Pentagon. He then instructed his three-man Secret Service detail to resolve the issue. Uh, We're told... We're told that Pentagon police drew their sidearms. Uh, the source of the Pentagon Protection Force told the Secret Service agents they'd be making a mistake, that there were over 100 inside ready to back them up if trouble started. The Secret Service didn't want any part of that and told Biden he'd have to force his way in himself if he was so inclined. Uh, so the Secret Service, you know, they're not ready to die for this guy either. Uh, Biden told Milley, a Biden supporter, is no longer in charge. According.